Yeah, that's, a good, that's good for making homes oh for boy. frogs. A little axe to it too, Colin. Give it a shot. A little saw blade? Yeah, let's we'll see how it works. We'll try it. This is nice, but it's definitely not light. No, it's heavy. <laughs> but hopefully it'll dig. <laughs> oh, it, oh, she'll dig. Did the sand will go through. Careful. Some of this stuff's sharp. You don't just rub your hand on it, right? This is sharp. This is an axe. Mm -hmm. That's a bottle opener. Not sure what that is, but that's definitely sharp there, right? Mm -hmm. It's like maybe for shaving sticks off of it. That's a saw, and these are like little um, hex, like sockets, you know? It's even got a tape measure. In case we catch a fish. In case you gotta scale something off. Yeah. It's a keeper. What's that other thing? You probably could even use it as a spear. What's the other thing? We, we can throw it at our target. We yeah, make so our... Uh, yeah. If you look, see this? So this is, well, that looks like some type of knife, and another saw blade, and one of these might be like a fish. Uh, a hook, a D hooker. So, anyways, depending on what, you know, think about cap. One more. Want. I think there's maybe one more piece, even. Yeah. Here's your cap. Oh. And cap. So, thing about camping is something has to be multi-tooled, right? So, this is just a handle. But look, now you take this, screw it in like this. Okay. Now look what you got. You got a knife. You got a short saw blade, right? Multi-function, right? It's a survival survival shovel, right? In case we need to fend away a bear or uh, children. Chop a toe off. Nitro. How many bugs do you have? Nice. This is one way to make a nice flat spot. Yeah. Well, I killed a mosquito and a fly, so that means we have no rake on this? I know, right? No level? <laughs> no, that would be nice, the little bubble level. Your shoulders are red. Yeah, huh? Heavy pack. <laughs> that thing's deep. It is. It's pretty big, actually. I don't want it. You don't want it? I'm not that big. I thought it was a bubble from the back. Wow. <laughs> That's bigger than it looks. What did you want? I I we did on top of Gale Head, it was beautiful. Yeah. Paul, can you close top parts now? Mm -hmm. You want to do it as tight, right? Right? Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in that intro, you saw a real quick kickoff of this Yakul shovel. Now this particular shovel I covered in a prior review looking at the features. If you're interested in seeing this in full detail, go back to my prior review. But in this video, I'm going to use this for further camp tasks. You know, at this point, I brought it deep out into the wilderness to really give it a try. I'm always curious about this type of tool. It's a multi-tool, and can it perform when you really need it? Now, this is marketed as a survival shovel. Well, at this point, I need it for a little bit of survival. I mean, it's not like I'm in a desperate situation, but let's be realistic, I have some chores I need to get accomplished. Now, at this point, I have a ton to do, and if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. So at this point, I do need to start processing some firewood. We have to get a fire going, and can this shovel actually help me process firewood? Well, let's see. And the first thing I can tell you is they're gonna say they don't want you hacking on this with more than one length. So what I'm gonna do is pop off the head of the shovel, grab myself here, the end cap, 
and that's going to be important because currently as configured you'll see this does have sort of that glass breaker on there now I don't want to gash myself or accidentally cut myself in any way so I'm gonna get the cap on here and I'm gonna go forging around a little bit and I'm thinking well maybe I can use this for some chopping uh, maybe if I need to I could try to saw a little bit I'm just curious what this will do for me now that I'm turning the corner and getting into a little bit of firecraft how's this shovel gonna help me well let's just see we'll find out now any time you can find standing dead it's definitely going to be helpful and here I have some that I can go after. I have a ton of nice branches here that'll be some good tinder source and here some birch another standing dead and I'm thinking why not try and chop it down with a shovel. I mean heck we saw a fowler do it on alone. He actually lived off of one of these shovels. Now, I think it's a little less complicated than what I have here and probably a better overall tool to be honest with you, but I'm curious to see how this will do. Let's give it a try. Well, that worked. Yeah, the fact that, yeah, exactly, it's curved, so that's not going to help. There's no width to help split it, and I'm basically sawing through my baton every whack, but yeah, it was worth a try. Got to experiment, right? Yeah. Oh, 
about this. I don't know about this blade. It's not very sharp. It's not. Like, it's like maybe okay for cutting cord and, and like packaging or like even slicing food. But like wood, it's just like sliding down. You'd have to have like a perfectly processed piece with like perfect edges in order to make this work. I don't even know if this is really a saw necessarily I feel like it's kind of like for notching more than it is for actually sawing although it kind of saws interesting not sure if we can really check this compass uh, the best because the light is going to be tough here I would say that seems not completely accurate I guess that's kind of close. Seems about right. Now I notice the shovel is fairly shiny. I thought it would be an interesting test to see if we could use it for some basic signaling. It's not the brightest. I'm not sure if this would really catch your attention, but at least it's something worth a try. I just thought it would be a neat test while I'm out here and I have some space to give it a shot. So in terms of some of the tools, I feel as though the compass was close. I know it was almost impossible for you to see it, um, but I do think it was somewhat accurate. I mean, within reason, but I mean, I can navigate as well as this compass can tell me by looking at the sun, so it didn't give me any information I didn't already have, um, but that's okay. Um, I didn't have a chance to really use this glass breaker. Now I could use it to crush some things. I don't know if it would have been helpful, maybe crush up some rocks. Uh, we had a little project making a bow and arrow today. Maybe I could have crushed a rock and maybe got a piece or a shard for an arrow tip. Uh, that might have been useful. Let's see, getting into the rest of this here. I mean, that's pretty much the rest of this piece. I think this does uh, unthread, and eh, maybe not. Uh, getting into this here, unthreading this piece of the handle. At this point, slide that out that is hollow but that is a bit driver that doesn't do me anything out in the wilderness right now so for a survival shovel in the wilderness application that's kind of a moot point getting into the rest of this unthreading here now this stuff here is fairly useful uh, the knife you saw um, it didn't perform the best I struggled with it a bit I feel like the edge is not all that refined I mean, I can run my finger fairly well along this without any true fear of getting a hard, deep cut. Um, the thing is, you know, I think you could put a better edge on this. It would be decent for cordage and general food prep, but for firewood or, you know, processing feathers or anything like that, it is limited. Um, as I get into this, uh, there is one more piece somewhere in here, and I'm not seeing it offhand. It's got to be in under here somewhere. And that is the ferro rod, which at this point, I don't even know where that went. It's got to be, I know there's like another piece in here somewhere. And I swear one of these caps threads off and inside is a ferro rod. I think this is frozen. Let me see if I can get it off. So yeah, I'm like 99% sure that this piece here threads off. And inside there is the ferro rod and a whistle. Now the ferro rod... Uh, unfortunately is a thin um, threaded ferro rod that goes into the holder and the holder is the whistle um, but the ferro rod snapped and at this point I just stashed it away and that's another piece that would have been useful for me to start the fire now could I in theory still use the ferro rod well maybe I think I'd be busy trying to hold on to a tiny little piece and get a spark off of it it's too bad because I did want to try it um, but unfortunately, like I said, the ferro rod itself did snap. It was jingling around inside the handle and driving me nuts, so I took it out of there. Um, and then, um, other than that, the whistle, that's definitely useful out in an environment like this. So, a number of tools that I think do apply. 
You know, I uh, definitely found the shovel to be very, very useful. It was incredibly useful for digging. That's its primary chore. The hoe was amazing. So the shovel itself, and I mean, we've been bashing this off of rocks and stuff, and it's held up very well. Um, the edge is not incredibly sharp, but nor do I need it to be. I'd prefer it to be the sort of medium dull in a way um, just enough of an edge to chop through some stuff and it did a decent job chopping you know some of the things I tested were maybe a little bit punky but it did its job now did I expect this to really baton or split anything no but it did its job I don't know about this saw it's a little bit short in length and in terms of its overall effectiveness I mean I'm sure it would do some work I don't have anything right now that to be honest with you I really care to saw down I mean you could get a little sapling maybe even up to maybe two inches but you'd be kind of busy getting to work but overall I do have to say I like the shovel portion of this very much seems to be durable now Yakul did a nice job with this mechanism to allow it to change between the different positions it's very sturdy once you thread it in. It's a little squeaky right now. I could definitely lube that up and it would make a difference, but that is very, very secure. No movement in the head whatsoever, even after all this use and bashing this around, held up very nicely. So overall, nice quality. I just don't know for me personally how practical it is for true wilderness survival, but for this case in the camping application, it actually performed overall pretty well. So, all right, guys, there you have it. A look at this Yakul shovel using it in the wilderness application. As I mentioned, not perfect, but it did have its place for a number of these tasks. You know, something like this is gonna be a jack of all trades, master of none. I mean, bottom line is it did a great job with the digging and with the hoe, I'm happy with that. So, I mean, it definitely has some good functions. I think for me, this would be better suited to something more like on the back of an ATV or a snowmobile, four-wheeler, maybe an off-road vehicle, something like that, where in a pinch, if you needed some tools, you would have them. You'd have the ability to do some digging you may need to do some prying you may need to smash something maybe you just need to cut some cordage maybe you need those tools with the driver to me that's a slightly better application than in the wilderness but for me I definitely in some of these tasks made it work so all right guys thanks for stopping by I hope you like what you saw I hope you found it a little bit informative if you like what you saw please like share and subscribe and as always thanks for stopping by take care now I'll see you soon